The cost of Starlink just reached a new record low in the United States and Canada. In the US, you can get a brand new Starlink kit, the latest generation equipment for just $299. That's a $200 discount from the normal price. In Canada, the deal is even better. You can get a brand new kit, previous generation, for just $199. And if that's still too much money to put down, Starlink has a new trial offer. If you put down just $50, you can get your equipment payment deferred until after 30 days, and you'll still get that nice discount. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the new regional savings promotion that's going on throughout the United States and Canada, letting you know some very important details and restrictions that you need to know about in order to not get billed later on for this discount credit. I'm also gonna be talking about how Starlink has closed up some of the previous loopholes that allowed ineligible addresses to be qualified for these discounts and how they finally fixed that. So let's get into it. My name is Colby and you're watching Starlink Hardware. Okay, so let's take a look at this regional savings discount and where exactly it's available in the United States and Canada. Let's jump onto the computer here real quick. Okay, so we're on the main Starlink website and you can see they were advertising this even on their homepage. They've got a banner up the top that says $299 for the Starlink kit or try it for $50 for 30 days up front. And they also say it down here. Now this is kind of unique. They've never done this before on the main website uh, because usually these discounts are uh, just regionally available in select locations. This discount, this new regional savings discount credit that they're giving you is much more widespread. So let's actually take a look at the map. So this is the United States. The areas that are shaded in white are all eligible for this new regional savings program. So in all of these states that you see here, the dish, the brand new Gen 3 standard dish is going to be $299. And that is a $200 discount that you're gonna be receiving right off the top, right, with your equipment purchase. The areas that are gray here are not eligible for this promotion, so you're gonna be paying that normal $499 price. And I think like many other Starlink promotions, they're basically trying to get more customers, more subscribers in areas where they have excess network capacity. So in these areas that are shaded white, they have a lower user density. So they have more network capacity available and since those satellites are constantly orbiting overhead and they constantly have that infrastructure in place as far as ground stations go, they need to be able to use that capacity in order to maximize the amount of revenue that they're making. So in states where they have excess capacity, they're willing to reduce the price of the hardware, make a little bit less money up front to get more of those subscribers on board that are paying monthly. So if we're going by the number of states, over half of the US is qualified for this $200 discount, which is pretty awesome. One of the cool things about this regional savings promotion is that it's not just for orders directly from Starlink.com. If you buy from an authorized retailer like Home Depot or Walmart or Best Buy, you can actually get this discount applied to your order. All you have to do is go through the normal activation process like you would for any third party retailer kit. And as long as your address is eligible, you'll have that $200 discount automatically applied to your checkout. All right, so let's take a look at an address and see exactly what's going on with this regional savings program. So I'm going to go in here and set a location on the map. I'm just gonna go right to somewhere random in the state of Kansas because I saw on the map that Kansas was available. So if I click the order now button, you can see that we've got uh, the price here of $299 for your Starlink kit in your area or Try it for $50 for 30 days. So let's take a minute and talk about this $50 trial offer. This has always confused me because Starlink has always advertised a 30-day trial, but it really wasn't like a free trial or anything. You had to buy the equipment full price up front, and then you had 30 days for a full return window. That's pretty standard in the industry. That, that's not really a trial. That's just a, a regular return policy. This, however, is different. Starlink has finally started to lower the upfront costs. So now they're just requiring a $50 deposit basically. And that allows you to try that Starlink kit for a lot less money than you normally would have to pay. In addition to that, this $50 trial is also included with that regional savings discount. So if you decide to take advantage of this $50 trial offer, you'll only owe $249 after the 30 day trial period is up if you decide to keep your equipment. So whether you take this $50 trial offer or not, your equipment price is the same if you're eligible for that regional savings program. The difference is just when you pay it. 
Although this is the lowest price that Starlink has ever been in the United States and Canada, there are some caveats here. There are some things you need to know about before you decide to take Starlink up on this new offer. So the first thing to know about this regional savings promotion is that it's only applicable for the residential or standard service plan. Second thing you'll wanna know is that you won't be able to update your service address at all. If you do, Starlink will bill you for that $200 service credit. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. The third restriction that they put in place is that you won't be able to change your service plan for the first six months. You'll have to pay for six months of residential before you're, before you're eligible to be able to change your service plan to like Rome or something else. If you change your service plan within that first six months, you'll be billed for that $200 promotional credit. And just like any other Starlink kit, you have to wait at least 120 days from the date of purchase or 90 days from the first activation before you're eligible to transfer this kit. And the last restriction that you should probably know about, if you decide to buy this kit, either with the $50 down or the full $299 purchase price with this regional savings promotion, if you decide to do it and then you don't actually purchase a subscription, let's say you instantly cancel your service, you decide to keep the kit, Starlink's gonna bill you for that full amount of the equipment. So they're gonna add on the $200 and they're gonna bill you for that so that you're paying the full price for that equipment. Okay, so let's talk about this, these new restrictions and what they're doing to close the previous loopholes that were available on other discounts. So if you've seen my, some of my other videos, I like to kind of give you insights into how you can take advantage of some of these discounts, even though your address is not technically eligible. And the way that used to work is you would specify your service address for an area that you knew was eligible for a discount. You would have the, sh the Starlink kit shipped to your real address. And then after it arrived, you would simply update your service address from the discounted area to where you didn't live back to your actual address. And that would allow you to take advantage of some of those promotional discounts on equipment, no matter where you lived in the country. Well, it looks like Starlink has finally caught on. Maybe they'll watch my videos, I don't know, but they're closing that loophole. So I mentioned earlier that restriction about changing your service address. If you do, Starlink will bill you for that $200 promotional credit. So the loopholes that I previously talked about will no longer work. If you buy it for an address that's eligible, ship it to a different location, and then update your service address, you're gonna be billed for that $200 credit. And the other loophole that they closed was being able to apply these discounts to Rome orders. All of these previous discounts and promotions pretty much had to do with the standard residential service. You were never able to really get a discount on Rome orders. However, in the past, what you could do is buy a residential, and then just simply change the service plan from residential to roam after you've completed the purchase. And that would allow you to get the discount on the equipment and then use it for a roam plan. That loophole is also now closed. Starlink says that you'll have to wait six months from the date that you order to be able to change your service plan if you decide to take advantage of this promotion. If you change your service plan in the first six months, you will be charged for that $200 promotional credit. And that seems totally fair to me, even though I previously reported on how you could do all of these cool loopholes and things like that to save some money. But it's very clear that Starlink is trying to target areas where they have excess capacity and they don't really want people in low capacity areas to be getting those promotions when they're designed to increase their revenue and subscriber count in those high capacity areas. So I hope this information helped you out. If you're on the fence about purchasing Starlink, especially for the residential home use, this is now the best time ever to do it. Starlink is as cheap as it's ever been if you live in one of those eligible areas. And with the new $50 trial offer, there's definitely less stopping you from trying Starlink out. All you're risking is that $50 up front, and then if it doesn't work out, you can always return the kit and get a full refund of everything that you paid. If it does work out, you'll just owe the remaining balance of that $299. All right, so thank you for watching. That's it for today's video, today's update. I'd love to know what you think about this new regional savings program and all the restrictions and everything that they put on it to close these loopholes. Let me know in the comments below what you think. So I'll chat with you in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.